I hope you had an awesome, awesome weekend. It is Monday. That means it's a garden related video and we about ready to see what's happening in the greenhouse. Yep, we got us uh, some plants coming in for sure. And one thing I did do is I overseeded a little bit. Uh, I'm just used to doing that because I'm not used to planting in the house first, so I'm used to planting uh, hills of like zucchinis and different things. So I kind of overseed, and then later on as I kind of pick out the strongest of the plants and then kind of thin them out. But uh, we do have a couple pots here that hasn't popped up yet. But I'm not worried because I still got some of the seeds. I can replant it if necessary. But so far I'm really happy with the progress so far. The peppers are just now starting to come on. But some of those they do take a little while to germinate. So, uh, but for us just getting started, I think, I think it's doing really, really well. I'm going to pop us down to this bottom shelf here. Okay. We got us a bunch more planted too. So, uh. What we got going on here is we got us some more sweet banana peppers planted. We got six of those. So we're going to have ten sweet banana peppers all together. So we're going to have all kinds of banana peppers this year. We also got us some habaneros. We got uh, three of those. We're planting us some ghost chilies. We got three of those. Then we got... A Thai red chili, which is kind of like a cayenne pepper. Then we got us some Tabascos. And then uh, we got us a couple more jalapenos. So we're going to have about six jalapeno plants all together. Once everything grows, we got another sweet, delicious tomato plant back there. So we added two additional tomato plants to our bunch. And then we got two different kinds of rhubarbs we planted by seed. So uh, we got two different types, six pots all together, but two different kites. So three, three of each. One of them, I cannot pronounce the name. It has a weird name to it. And the other one is called a Victoria rhubarb. So we got some rhubarb started back there. I do got a backup plan for those. I know where I could get uh, the actual plants. I don't know anybody that has any cuttings uh, to be able to get the cuttings off of them. But uh, I'm going to try for seed from the seed first. And then I do know where I could get the actual already plant. So they're just the where they're at. They're really expensive. So I'm going to try and do it a cheaper route, more budget friendly, and start them from seed in house. But uh, we're gonna definitely keep an eye on these. A lot of these pepper plants, they do take at least one to two weeks to germinate. So they may be up for next week's video, they may not. But uh, one thing I did do I jumped the gun on is my watermelon plants back there, but uh, we're going to keep uh, an eye on them, and we're going to do what we can with them anyways, but I do got more of the seeds, so if I have to replant those, I can, So, uh, but I'm going to try and do with what I got so far, and hopefully I didn't start those too early, but uh, definitely going to keep trying to plant starting from seed in house that's for sure 
it never gets old watching your plants come out of the soil right there I want to thank you so much as always thank you so much for all your continued support to this channel and to each other's channels and to each other this is always a beautiful community and as always I am privileged and honored to be a part of this and uh, I hope each and every one of you stays awesome stay safe find your start and reach your goals and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching